Hi, welcome back to Adventure Brewing. I'm Curtis Brewer. Yeah, we kicked off the weekend visiting Wall, Drugs, and Badlands National Park. Sunday, we headed southwest to visit Crazy Horse Memorial and the Wind Cave National Park. First stop was Crazy Horse Memorial. Crazy Horse Mountain Carving is the largest in the world, or at least it will be when it's completed. Construction started in 1948 and was scheduled to be completed in 30 years. Today there's no timeline as to when it would be completed, but the horse's head is projected for 2037. The memorial consists of the mountain carving, a museum, as well as a university for native studies. The mission of the memorial is to honor the history and customs of the North American indigenous people. Again, visiting South Dakota in late April has its perks. There were no crowds, but both the daily performances and the laser show don't start till late May, so I'm hoping I can come back and see those next year. We toured the museum for about an hour and then headed further south to our next stop. The natural interest of Wind Cave National Park was referred to as the hole that breathes cool air by the Lakota. The cave actually expands and contracts depending on the high and low pressures of the area. There are several hikes and trails around the park, but we decided we were just going to visit the cave today. To enter the Wind Cave, you have to purchase tickets. We got ours online, but they do hold about 50% back for walk-ins, but they do sell out in one to two hours. There are several hikes to choose from. We decided to do the Garden of Eden, which was probably the most moderate of all of them. It's about one hour, a quarter of a mile, and 150 stairs.
made it challenging to get video, but I was more enjoying just being there. We wrapped up our tour at Wind Cave National Park, headed back to the campground to get ready for the work week. Friday, we ended our time in South Dakota by taking the dogs to Sylvan Lake and Custer State Park. The road to the lake is narrow, has lots of switchback, but there are some gorgeous views. Sylvan Lake offers several activities during the summer season. Rock climbing, kayaking, paddle boarding, swimming, as well as rock climbing and hiking. During our visit in April, there was still snow on the ground and lots of construction in progress. It was still a good walk and it was nice to get the dogs out of the campground for a while.
This was our last stop and our last day here in South Dakota. The next day we packed up and headed west to Gardner, Montana to visit one of my bucket list locations. I hope you'll check out our next video and until then, I hope wherever you are there's an adventure brewing.